Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back today with a DIY video for you. We're going to be doing some Christmas DIYs and we're going to be keeping them really simple and they're also all on a budget. In fact, most of the things that I'm going to be using for today's DIYs, which are all around me, I think are pretty much free or yet yeah, very low cost. And they're all things that hopefully you'll be able to get hold of quite easily too. So hopefully you'll be able to craft along with me and we'll have a very nice little afternoon together or it might be any time that you're watching this i guess but whatever time it is you're watching hopefully i will be able to inspire you to do some really nice kind of easy and also like last minute kind of diys that are just nice to do nice sort of christmas activity and we'll keep it nice and chilled in fact i might just keep it as live so that we can literally do this together and yeah, you can have a little go at these, I hope, as well. And today's video is a really exciting one because it is actually a collaboration as well. So I am collaborating with Amanda Oak Ints here on YouTube for this video. Amanda's channel is brilliant. If you haven't already checked it out, you must go over there. I'm going to link it in the description box down below. Amanda makes some fantastic videos. I absolutely love watching her hauls because she always comes up with really good ideas with the items that she's showing. So I always get lots of inspiration from Amanda's channel. And she also does lots of other videos too. She does vlogs, she does some DIYs, all kinds of stuff. And she also lives in London, like myself. So I love watching her channel. And yeah, you definitely must go over there and make sure you subscribe when you do. And when you pop over there today, Amanda is going to also be doing some DIYs. I think Amanda is going to be making a wreath. So I can't wait to see what she comes up with over on her channel. So I'll leave her channel in the description box down below. And when you pop over there, do say hello from me. So let's get started with the DIYs. The first thing that we're going to be making is kind of like a bit of a wall hanging, or I guess you could call it kind of like a wreath. I actually spied some of these branches in my local park. It looked like someone had just chopped down a load of bush or tree, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. It actually had some blossom on it, which was kind of confusing at this time of year. There were some little buds on here. But I've picked out some of these branches. I think they're kind of like willow branches or that kind of thing. So they've got a bit of flexibility to them. And I thought we would start off with these to actually make the shape for our wall hanging. And I do want to keep them all really nice and simple today. So I'm actually going to start off by just taking the longest one, which I think is this one, and bending it round. And what we're going to do is try to create that first shape. I'm thinking something like this, like a loop, so that we can then kind of hang it up this way. Do you know what I mean? Have you seen those ones that kind of hang on doors like that? So that's the vibe for this one. I'm not sure how we're going to secure it though, but I've got some string here. <laughs> I've got everything in front of me and we are just going to wing it together. I've also got some little pieces of florist wire, so maybe that will do the job. I'll just take one of these out. I should have got these all better prepared, so excuse me while I just untangle these for a second. But yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to keep this video kind of relaxed and we can just do this together. Or you could be doing your own crafts. Do let me know if you are doing any kind of crafts this Christmas. I would love to see them. I love seeing what you guys make, especially over on Instagram. So always feel free to tag me in a picture if you post something, one of your creations. So I'm just looping that off and then that's secured. So then we can go on and then just add a few more of these nice twigs into the same kind of formation. I might just wrap it around a bit just to bulk it out. So what I'm gonna do is just go through like that. Will it stay if I do that? And just wrap it. <laughs> he says. <laughs> but just do that. There we go. Yeah. See what I'm doing? I'm just literally wrapping it around itself. And because it's quite bendy, it kind of just holds itself into position. So wrap it all the way around. You can always use a bit of the wire to secure it. And we'll just go on with a couple more. This is just to bulk it out a bit. I'm not, I might try going the other way now. What do we think? Could that be a vibe? We'll go back on itself. That might hold that one into position. There we go. So make this your own if you're doing it yourself. There's no rules with this one. I'm literally just kind of making this very simple shape. And then what we're going to do is just have a little bit of fun where it joins here and just add something. So you could add anything that you like. So you could raid your Christmas decorations. You could raid any Christmas gifts if you've got some old ribbon. Save that. So we could add a little bit of that. One more, do we think? 
Yeah, why not? Let's go this way this time. Wrap that one around. There we go. And then you can tuck it in as well. I hope you can see okay. I just thought I would do a very simple filming setup today. There we go. I can just hold it a little bit closer. You can see how that I'm getting on. How that I'm getting on? <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if I can continue stringing sentences together throughout this video. Right then, I don't think we'll need these ones, so I'll pop them to one side. And then while I was in the park, I just picked a couple of bits of greenery, and I also found this on the pavement where the Christmas trees were for sale. So often you'll just see a few clippings lying around, so I grabbed that. And I also picked some berries too. So you could grab any festive foliage that you see. And then all we're going to do is using our wire, you can just actually grab my scissors, which are just over there. I'm going to just cut these down a little bit, just to make them a little bit shorter. And put them all together, just to make one little bunch. I'm going to call it, that's the technical term for you. So we'll do that, and then we'll take a bit of this as well. Tell you what, I should have bought the secateurs in. Because <laughs> these scissors aren't quite going to cut it, I don't think. There we are. So something like that, just start to piece your bits of foliage together. How are we doing? Like that? Looks quite nice, doesn't it? And then we can add the berries as well. And then when you've got that all together, take your piece of wire, or you can just grab a bit of string or anything you like. If you've got nothing else, get some dental floss. <laughs> and we are then going to attach this. I'm just figuring out which way up to do it. I'm actually going to do it facing upwards, if that makes sense. I was just trying to work out what would look better. But I think upwards is the best way to do it. And you might need one more bit of wire just to... <laughs> All the berries are dropping off. Where's my wire gone? I'll tell you what, it's messy, isn't it, this crafting malarkey? Before you know it, the table is absolutely covered. You could do this out in the garden if it wasn't too cold. Save the mess. And then you could hang it straight on the door. Right. Assuming you have a garden. My garden, as you may have seen recently, <laughs> has been through the wars a little bit. But it's coming back. Gave it a good tidy up recently. You might have seen in a recent vlog. Right, there we go. So I have now wired that into place. And there we go. What do we think? I think that's quite sweet, isn't it? Nice and natural, and I think that would look lovely. Just hanging up, you could hang it inside. Or if you want it to last a little bit longer, you can hang it outdoors. Love that. Where should we pop it? Let me know in the comments where you think that would look nice. But I've got a few, I don't know if you can see them. Oh no, they're a bit higher. I've got a few above the mantelpiece in the way of wreaths. But I think this one might look quite nice hanging outside. And then the birds <laughs> could get involved with the berries if they wanted to. Very pleased with that one. Right, we better crack on because, yeah, I'm going to try and keep this video as live for you. So we'll do this in real time. Right then, the next one, do I dare get the drill out or do I dare get the glue gun out? Either could end in disaster. Let's start off with the glue gun. I'm gonna switch it on. Actually, no, it needs to heat up. So what I'm going to do is the one that involves the drill. Right then, so I've had these for ages. These I got from Amazon and these are little plate stand the little plate stand device, I don't know what the technical term is, but essentially these are little sticks that can go between plates. And you get these from Amazon, I'll link them if I can find where I got them from in the description box. And yeah, you can get a set of these, and they also send you the drill bit to drill through porcelain plates. So I had a look in the charity shops, and what I had in mind was to find some vintage kind of Christmassy plates, but I couldn't actually find any in time for this video. But I might do that still, if I see any nice kind of quirky plates. I think we'll have a go at doing that. But instead, in my box of Poundland items for DIYs, I still had these metal plates, uh, sorry, metal camping bowl. And I think this one is just an oven dish. It says sandwich tin. There we are. So I thought we would use these instead. And I thought we would make a kind of metal, um, what do you call it? A cake stand, but not for cakes. 
<laughs> we'll put festive sweets in this. I'm thinking this could be quite a nice thing to put all of your Christmas sweets in, or you could do different snacks, or, oh dear, I'm trying to peel a sticker off. I should have prepared this, shouldn't I? Will it come off in one go? Yes, it will. Phew. I was worried for a moment then. I felt myself start to sweat a little bit. <laughs> okay, that could have taken some time. Right then, so let's get the drill out. Was any of you here, should I try and get this one off? Was any of you here when I was doing a DIY? No, I'm not gonna do that one. Doesn't matter, it'll be underneath. Was any of you here when I was doing a DIY and I managed to drill a, I think it was a pizza tray to this table? Yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? Right then, so what I'm going to use with my drill attachments is the one that is made for metal, which is the gold one, and just find one the right size for the screw bit. I think that will do. I'm very much winging this, so do bear with me. And then what I'm going to do is just drill a hole in the center of each. So I'll just find the middle and then we'll go straight the way through. Excuse the traffic jam that's outside. So we'll do the next one. Through we go. be as simple as popping this back together. So we'll start with the piece that goes underneath. Just thread that through there. Oops, really lost it. <laughs> I just caught it between my legs. So I'm going to thread this. Oh, I hope it's going to fit through the hole. That's a little bit tight, so I'm just going to use my screw. Just going to drill that a little bit more. We'll do this one too. Get the hole a bit bigger. And I've put my bit. <laughs> oh dear, it's all falling apart. Right then. Why didn't I think to do pre pre screwed holes before filming, eh? There we go. So that's gone through. Then you attach that bit, just screw it on like so. What I'm going to do is actually use the drill as well just to tighten that because we just need a little bit of welly or you could use a screwdriver for this bit. And then we're going to pop the next bit on. And you can do different tiers with these. You could do like a third one if you wanted to, but I'm just going to stick with the two tiers for this one. And then we just screw that one into position. And 
hand. Right, it's a bit wobbly at the minute because I need to tighten that screw at the base, but you get the idea. So I'm going to tighten this one up and at the end of the video I'll be inserting clips of all of the finished DIYs. But how nice does that look? And let me just show you what I had in mind for it. So I was thinking we get all of our kind of festive fruit. I've got some satsumas in here. I'll just hold it up for the time being to show you. And by the time you've added that, you could add some cloves into these as well and then you can get your little bits of foliage, anything you've got left over and whack those in too and then we're going to have a really nice beautiful little centrepiece I'm just doing this very rough to give you the idea and then um, yeah, I'll show you some shots of it all finished at the end once I've got a screwdriver involved with it and it's a bit more secure but how about this? And then imagine something festive in the top. I think that's really nice, isn't it? Very effective. So yeah, pleased with that one. And um, once it stops wobbling around, it'll be even better. So I'll pop this back down here. And we'll move on to the next one, which is going to be made using toilet roll tubes. So hopefully all of you will have these in the home already. And what we're going to do is start off with our toilet roll tube. We're going to just fold it kind of flat like this and then we're going to mark along the side of it. So just get a ruler and then we're going to measure centimetre sections. So I've got my ruler here, but I haven't got a pen. <laughs> so I'm gonna just do a little snip where I see a centimetre just to get me started. But yeah, mark it with a pen and then you can cut the way all the way across in centimetre sections. Don't worry too much if it's not exact, it won't be the end of the world, but you wanna get them, roughly speaking, all the same size. And then what you want to do is just cut your centimetre sections, if you can see that. So you've got your, they're gonna be like little rings, I suppose. So each one will look like that. Oh, is my glue gun hot now? Yeah, it is. Perfect, okay, so we'll keep going with that. This is going to make, let's see how many this does, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I might need to use a second toilet roll uh, tube if, if I need it, I'm not sure. I haven't done this one before, but I've seen them and I thought they looked really effective, especially considering they're made out of something that's in all of our homes. At least I hope it is. <laughs> I won't be popping around your house if it isn't. Right, so what we do then is we take our little sections like this and using the glue gun, we are going to stick them together. And we do one, two, three, how many do we do? Four, I think. <laughs> I'm winging it. Right then, so just put a tiny bit of hot glue just at the end like that. You don't need too much at all. And stick them together like that. You see that? It's tricky to show you. We're gonna do it like that. Ow. <laughs> Always forget, it is hot. <laughs> so, I'm gonna just do it down here for a moment and I'm going to pick it up to show you because it's a little bit tricky doing it upright. So I'll just do this quickly. It's all gone quiet, hasn't it? Are you still with me? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have a go at any of these. I would love to know, or if you've just been just watching. Either is good to know. So there we go, so I've stuck those together like that. So you just need a little bit of glue on each side and then you kind of just hold it in place. And hot glue is good for this one because it dries nice and quickly so you can continue working. And then we have the remaining pieces. So what we're going to do with these is fold them in half like this make a little crease and then you'll have a piece 
that looks like that. And then on this piece, you're gonna just do a little line of glue around that part there. Let me see if I can show you. So just here and down to there. Here and down to there, <laughs> very technical. <laughs> and then pop that into that bit like that. You with me? Looks like a pair of bunny ears. And now it's looking like a butterfly. You could leave it there, I suppose. You could put some bits in this bit, make a butterfly decoration if you wanted to. So I'm gonna crack on and do these remaining bits here. So folding it in half, a little bit of glue around it. If you haven't got any um, hot glue, by the way, if you haven't got a glue gun, I reckon you could probably just use a little bit of sellotape in those gaps and you'd probably be able to come up with a similar thing or any old um, PVA glue, that sort of thing. It just would take a little bit longer to dry so you might want to get a few clothes pegs to hold it in place while it's drying. Just fold this one too. And you can paint this when you're finished or you could add some glue around the edges and then dip it into some glitter. I've seen that done, that looks quite nice. I actually quite like just the really simple cardboard effect on this one. I would love to see it if you made any of these, that would make my day. So definitely tag me over on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, that is, of course, um, just so I can see how you get on with them. There we go. So one more to go in. Oh, steady on. That's the uh, drill bits. I should have popped those down on the floor out of the way now that that one's done. What a relief that that one's done. I tell you what, that made me sweat a little bit. <laughs> right, there we go. So pop that one in there. And you can see that that is starting to take shape. Now that's one toilet roll tube used for that. But what we could then do is take our other one and fill it out a bit. So should we do that? Let's have a little go. So I'm gonna fold this one in half as well. How are we doing for time? You've been with me for about 20 minutes, so thank you for sticking around if you're still here. <laughs> if I haven't bored you senseless. Right, ruler again. Centimetre strips. Do get a pen or a pencil. Don't just wing it like I am, but um, yeah, I'm just making my little snips so that they're all the same size. One centimetre each. Now, if you wanted to do it more intricate, you could do half centimetre if you wanted it a bit thinner. And then I suppose you'd get more of these little hoops to work with. And then you could make it really intricate and patterned and detailed. But centimetres quite comfortable because it allows for the glue to sit quite nicely. So I'm just going to quickly chop these up and try not to chop my fingers up <laughs> at the same time. Just having a coffee today, by the way, in case you were wondering. There's no Baileys in it. I haven't had any Baileys yet this year. What was I thinking? Oh, I had a little bit on packed lunch, actually. I'll tell a lie. But yeah, I haven't had any at home yet this year, so I think we'll have to be popping a bottle in the old trolley next time down the supermarket. Right, so there we go. This is actually a different sized loo roll tube. It's um, slightly smaller, but that's okay. So we'll do the same thing, fold these in half, and I'm gonna add them into the gaps. So let's show you that. Whoops. So I'll start off by putting them into those bits, can you see? So I've just added like one more in there and I think that really fills it out quite nicely, doesn't it? So I'm gonna try and go quick because we've got one more DIY that I want to attempt with you, which I'm quite excited about. It's another cardboard one. So hopefully it's one that you'll be able to make with some packaging that you might have lying around or if you've got any boxes on the way, any little parcels. So I'm popping that in the gap and I think that makes it look much better actually. You could also do a bit up in that corner, couldn't you? So I'll just finish off with four more of these. If you're somebody that has a Christmas tree, is it up yet? You just see the little one back there. That's the one that I picked up from a florist in Covent Garden, and it was on sale, and it was a really good price. I've forgotten how much it was, but if you watch my vlogs, probably way back actually, I think it might have been 2018 or something like that. I think I bought it, yeah, a few years ago and it was really reasonable and it's done me really well. So I love that tree. Yeah, let me know if you put yours up yet, if you do Christmas tree. Let me know if it's 
a real one or an artificial one. So I'm just putting in these last little bits. One more to go. I really like this craft because it's quite satisfying to do. And I feel like you can get creative with this one because you could keep adding these until the cows come home, so to speak. And then, you know, I don't know when to stop. You could build it out, couldn't you? You could keep going out and make it really intricate into more of a snowflake. You know, if you put, for example, you could take one like that and shove it in there. If I had, if I had a bit more with me, do you get the vibe? And then you can get some like pointy bits like that. So I might do that to finish it off. But I've only got those two bits for now to demonstrate. And I'll just pull off all the little bits of glue gun string. But yeah, how nice is that? So I'll show you that when it's all finished, hanging on the tree. I might just put two more long ones in. Very pleased with that. Okay, on to the final DIY. And I'm literally just making this one up. I just had this corrugated card, which I think is so fab. Great stuff that you can do with this around Christmas time. It'd look quite nice wrapped around little planters. If you want to put some little mini Christmas trees in, that sort of thing. But what I thought we would do is just have a go at making our own cardboard Christmas tree. And we will construct it by making a few kind of circular shapes by rolling this up. So what I'm going to do is measure again the same size strips. So what I'm going to go for is, I'm just working this out with you, so bear with me. I'm going to go for three centimetres for each strip. I'm just snipping along here. This is where I have to try and remember my times tables. <laughs> oh dear, where are we at? Right, there we go. Yeah, okay, and then I'm gonna cut these strips. They're all the same size. You could measure across with your ruler if um, you're not sure about cutting straight lines. But I'm just gonna eyeball it. Sorry, I should have prepared this. <laughs> it's good to do it in real time with you, I think. Let me know if you like this kind of vibe of video. I know a lot of DIY videos are time-lapse and voiceover and a lot quicker, which um, a lot of mine have been in the past, but I just fancy doing it a bit more casual today, so apologies if you came here for a time-lapse and a nine-minute video. This really isn't the one for you, is it? <laughs> right, so, make our strips. And then what we're going to do is roll them up with the corrugated part on the outside. And you could put a tiny little blob of glue on as you go. You don't need loads, but I think just to hold it in place, stop it unraveling in the middle maybe. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit. And roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. This first one that we're making is going to be the pot for our tree. So depending on what size you want to go, Make that whatever you think you want the um, width of your pot for your tree to be. So the next one that we're going to be making needs to be wider than this because that is going to be the base of our tree. Are you with me? Does this make sense? Right, where's my little pair of scissors? So, while I'm chopping this up, I better chat to you or you're going to switch off. <laughs> so I'm trying to think what other things I've got to tell you. Have you caught up with all my recent videos, first of all? That is what I would like to know. I've had lots of videos go live. Throughout December, I do try and upload more. There's always lots going on. And of course, I do love Christmas time and all the festivities that go with it. So I've been trying to do more longer vlogs this year. So there's some vlogs already up. And then we've got some fun collaborations. So do make sure you pop over to Amanda's channel when you finish watching this video. And if you've come over from Amanda's channel, hello, it's good to see you here. Thank you so much for popping over. Amanda's videos are fab. I find them really relaxing to watch. So I always like to switch on one of her videos, have a little watch of it. And I'm very excited to see how she's got on with making her wreath. I think she said she might attempt another DIY, I'm not sure. So yeah, I really look forward to watching her video. Right, I've got two strips now. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. Roll them up with the corrugated card, sorry, the corrugated side on the outside. A Little bit of glue as we go, just to keep that in place. There we go. 
and then I'm going to roll it, roll it, roll it. Oh. The glue was um, sticking to the little piece of cardboard that I've got laid down there just to stop it all going all over the shop. But it's not, <laughs> it didn't work that well. So, a bit more glue. Oh, my glue stick's run out. Have I got a spare? Pop one of these in. There we go. And we're going to seal that off. There we go. Oh, fell out. It's a racket going on outside, so I do apologise if you can hear that. It's all go at the moment. Right, there we are. So I've done that one. And then we need to continue another strip onto this one. So we're going to glue that one onto there. And this is just going to make it bigger than the previous one because, of course, usually, <laughs> well, it can depend, can't it? The base of your Christmas tree should be wider than the pot. So I'm going to do another little line of glue down this just to make sure that that's all stuck nicely. I'm trying to go quick because I'm aware that this might be a bit boring for you. So now could be a good time to put the kettle on or to start organising a drawer <laughs> or to collect your supplies if you're going to have a go at this one. Oh, I'll tell you what, I think that's going to get have to be really wide if that's going to be the pot, isn't it? So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just fudge that a little bit and make that the base, but make that the middle part of our tree just for time. And I'll give it a smaller pot because I think otherwise we will be here all night or all day or all morning. A few of you have been messaging me recently saying you've been watching the videos in the middle of the night when you can't sleep. So if you're one of those people, thanks for tuning in in the middle of the night. But I hope you do manage to get some sleep. There we are. So I've done the two tiers. It looks kind of like a wedding cake, doesn't it? So we'll do one narrower one now. One narrower one. So I'll cut my strip again. Same size. And then, oh, probably won't need all of it, will I? I'll see, I'll cut it all the way across and then we'll see how wide we want it to be. We can keep measuring it against that, can't we? And that might do us. Which actually, you can end up making quite a few of these and create your own little cardboard tree forest. That would look quite cute. Right, so, bit of glue. Feel like I'm losing the plot now. <laughs> it's that point in the afternoon where we need to swap that coffee for a Prosecco and start to get a little bit creative. <laughs> I feel like the, um, sometimes the more structured crafts, yeah, you need to be in the right mindset for them, don't you? He says, structured, this is chaos. <laughs> But um, there we go, right, so I'm just rolling that up. So a bit narrower. Yeah, that'll do. Bit of glue there. Seal that one off, let me give that a snip. And now I'm not sure, do we do one more tier on this tree? Blob of glue on there to hold that one in place. What do we think? Maybe one more narrow one? Would be very narrow, wouldn't it? Let's have a look how it looks. I'll just roll that up nice and tight. Try not to stick my fingers together. I think this might be nice because then what you could do is stick something on the top. You could have a little star on the top or a little whatever you might have lying around. What I might do before I end the video, let's have a quick rummage in the box down there. See if I can find something just to finish it. So that can go on the top. I hope you can see okay. I'm gonna um, put in some clips of all of these close up at the end of the video, so you can get a good look at them. There we go. So that's how it's looking. I think that's quite cute, isn't it? And I do think this needs to go in a pot, doesn't it? So what we can do is just make, what I might do actually, to mix it up a bit, how about we turn this the other way around so we've got the smooth side on the outside and that will make our bucket look slightly different. You can tell that I'm winging this, can't you? Completely making it up as I go along. So, roll, 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 although it's a bit tricky to stick this way because you haven't got the flat surface for the glue. 
but that's okay. I'll just do that. Roll that one up. Does that say bucket to you? It says trunk to me. Wider for a bucket, I suppose. We'll make it a trunk for now. <laughs> a bit more glue. And then I'm going to stick this on the base. There we go. I do apologize if you can hear anything outside. It's very noisy out there today. And that is how it is looking. What do we think? I'm really pleased with that. Cute, eh? So we could put a little star on the top. Let me just see if I've got anything in this box down here that would be appropriate. Got a few little bits and pieces in here. How about that? What's that? I think that's come off <laughs> a present or something, or maybe a box of chocolates. Not sure, or maybe a decoration. I'm not sure what that's come off. But um, let's try that on there. Maybe we could stick that. Yeah, that'd look quite cute. We'll stick that at the top. It's probably a bit big for this, but we won't worry about that. Tell you what, this glue goes quickly, doesn't it? This glue gun is from Poundland, in case you were wondering. I quite like these smaller ones. I have got a larger one, but the smaller ones can be quite handy to work with. So I'm gonna stick that on our tree. And then do you know what I'm thinking would be quite nice for this? Is to sit it inside a little like candle holder. Just see if I've got one that I can demonstrate with. It's got a candle in it, the one that I've got in mind. So what I'll do is I'll insert a clip at the end. But imagine this in like a little votive or tea light holder. That would be quite sweet, wouldn't it? So yeah, that is the last DIY. So I hope you enjoyed these. I'll pop that there for now. And yeah, I'll insert a few little clips for you of them all finished. There we are, it's falling apart. <laughs> there we go, stay still. That's it. Right, I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, do give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe for new videos every single week. And now, if you haven't done so already, do head over to Amanda's channel. I can't wait to see what she has made. She's brilliant. Don't forget to subscribe to Amanda as well while you're over there. Don't forget you can always catch me over on Instagram as well. It's Mr. Carrington or Mr. Carrington Home. If you make any of these, happy DIYing, happy crafternoon, whatever time it is that you do your crafts. And don't forget to tag me in your pictures. I would love to see how you got on and yeah, I think that's it. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!